Everything you need to know about Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings will be introducing another hero from Marvel Comics to the MCU, and it's out this Friday. Although some elements of Shang-Chi's history may differ from comics to film, the foundations of his origin remain the same. He's a master of martial arts and has a deep family history that in the film ties him to the Ten Rings organization. Let's dive in. From a young age, Shang-Chi was trained to become the ultimate warrior. Having been tutored by various martial arts masters, he is a living weapon. Although he prefers to fight hand-to-hand, -hand, he is also skilled with weaponry such as swords, staves, nunchaku, and shuriken. He's known for being composed and in control of his emotions even under high stress. Chi, also known as internal energy, aids him with keeping his emotions in check. It also benefits him in combat. In the comics, Shang-Chi reached a stalemate in a fight against Iron Fist, which puts their abilities on par. Black Panther even stated that he's better than Iron Fist, which is high praise indeed. Although he doesn't possess super strength like other Marvel characters, he can use his chi to temporarily increase his physical strength. His internal energy has also allowed him to do things such as dull his body's pain receptors, slow bleeding from a wound, and even slow the spread of poison in his body. It's probable that there will be some differences between Shang-Chi's origin story in the comics and the MCU. But what seems to remain the same is that he's the son of a crime lord. Having been raised to do his father's bidding and ultimately follow in his footsteps, Shang-Chi breaks the cycle, fleeing from his father's control and influence. In the MCU, we know that Shang-Chi's father will be the real Mandarin, leader of the Ten Rings. In Iron Man 3, we saw a fake Mandarin in the form of a comical, drunken actor Trevor Slattery. Shang-Chi will introduce the real mastermind behind the terrorist organization. Shang-Chi also spent time as an Avenger in the comics. He joined shortly after the events of the Avengers vs. X-Men crossover and was one of the first members to be drafted by Iron Man and Captain America. Aside from the Avengers, Shang-Chi has also spent some time working as a spy for MI6. Although it's unlikely that we'll see this carry over to the MCU, it could be a future plot point should somebody like Nick Fury become involved. Throughout his 48-year history in Marvel Comics, Shang-Chi has appeared alongside many well-known and beloved characters. Aside from being an Avenger in Fighting Iron Fist, he's worked with Daredevil to bring down Punisher and has even trained Spider-Man in martial arts. We know that this film is set after the events of Avengers Endgame, although there will be some flashbacks to Shang-Chi's childhood. The trailer included a cameo from the Sorcerer Wong, as well as Hulk's nemesis Abomination. They're going head-to-head -head in what looks like a fight club, so we can assume that Wong and Shang-Chi will come face-to-face -face at some point in the movie. The Ten Rings organization itself was first seen in Iron Man when they took Tony Stark as a hostage and it was referenced in Iron Man 3, but this turned out to be a farce orchestrated by Aldrich Killian. In Shang-Chi, the Ten Rings will be at the center of the story. The rings themselves belong to the Mandarin. They're a set of ten armbands that provide the user with mystical abilities, the extent to which is still unknown. The trailers don't give too much away about them, but we know that both Shang-Chi and his father will wield the rings in the film. And his origin story seems to be very similar to the comics. There are a few clips of his vigorous training and upbringing, and that show him being turned into the perfect warrior. His relationship with his father is estranged since he rebelled and fled from his destiny. We also see glimpses of his mother, who is rarely featured in the comics, and his relationship with her seems to be more integral to his character in the MCU. What excites you the most about Shang-Chi joining the MCU? Let us know in the comments, hit that subscribe button, and as always, geek out.